I would class Alexandra Kostanuk as my favourite um, chess player. Um, up there, there's another one who was my favourite one. Um, but yeah, um, I would class her as one of my favourite chess players. Um, even playing the blitzy type stuff, quality quality blitz. Yeah, I know I don't like blitz, but uh, she plays it very well. And her strategy and planning, etc. is um, second to none. Quality player. Um, one of the key things that really um, attracts me to her playing style is the way that she is the underdog, especially when she's playing against the gentleman. And then she comes out and she shocks the world or she shocks the, t the group or she shocks the event by actually beating them. Um, whether it's friendlies or, you know, um, in-game type things. Um, she has that ability to really upset um, the, the good players. And that's really, I really admire that. And she, she handles it well and she doesn't crack under the pressure or anything. Um, so it's uh, really quite impressive watching her play. So I'm going to jump in and play um, my favourite, one of my favourite chess players and see how we get on. And as usual, please take it easy on me, Alexandra. You know, I'm, I'm nowhere near. Oh, let's change that. So it's um, no help of any kind. And let's go for random and see what we get. Okay, playing as black. Let's push in the centre. And you know what? I've not moved the microphone close enough to me. Getting carried away. <laughs> okay, right. Do we go for simple baby moves? Let's go with simple and see how we get demolished. Just continue supporting the pawn like we do. And just develop the knight. And I know Alexandra's playing style so well. I've not played against her or anything, but... Um, she can be really quite aggressive. She sits back for a bit and then bang, she's all over the opponent like um, like a bad rash. Gonna take and just bring the bishop here. I'm familiar with this position at the minute, so I'm not too shocked. Going to castle. And obviously she moves totally different to players that I've played against. You don't see this sort of stuff. All right, let's just hit the bishop, see what they're wanting to do. Does take. I don't mind the pawn being doubled anyway, so let's do that. Oh, it's, this is totally, really freaky. You know, usually end up with the pawn being here and doubled and that's my comfort zone. So this bit here and the, the bishop moving back, they're fresh things. Doesn't mean that they're right things though. Do you know what I mean? We can probably take advantage of something. Doesn't look like there's a lot we can, but <laughs> let's see. Do we want to move the knight out of the way and get it more in here and here or something? Maybe not there. Keep the king with company. Shall we just do a baby knight a king move? And then if we have to bring the knight across here. I don't really want to overextend. I think I prefer to just sit on the back and um, wait to see what she's got planned. I feel like a king move's coming. I'm just going to move the king. Fear is setting in. <laughs> um, we could go here, knight takes, pawn takes, and that's not going to work for us. So instantly that looks like she's coming for, I know her style very well, as soon as you see the queen move and all this sort of stuff's going to start happening, most definitely from her playing style, so that's really going to kick in. Going to bring the knight across, whether I can stop it or not, that's a different kettle of fish, it's alright knowing that it's happening, but... So let's go there, there, could bring the knight back again, attacking the knight. She just likes to get all the pieces around the king. Do I ignore that? I've got nothing else support in there. Bishop takes. That's not going to board well, is it? 
queens all, all over the pawn. Do we just bring the knight back up again? What's he actually doing? Just come for the bishop. The bishop was the bad bishop anyway. Alright. So it looks like we've got them thinking anyway. We've not got beaten in 10 moves, have we? Is it 10 moves? I don't know. It feels like a lot more. Could attack the bishop. Oh, but then the pawn drops. It's always about that pawn dropping and winning them tempo. Right, okay. So knight can go back again. Could come here to attack. But we're not going to get away with that. So it's going to be a slow incremental attacks. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling the knight wants to move. Because also it's blocking this pawn as well. So I'm going to move it out of the way. You can envisage that. She's moved the queen out of the way. But look at that attack. So if we push the pawn up. Is the queen on anything else? Pawn, pawn pushes down. I don't think they'll push down. Let's go here. Okay. Knight's got jumping space again. But I don't think they'll take. I think the pawn will jump down. And it's not really got any funky way. It's just going to come back again. Although this pawn would be able to be taken by the bishop if they did that. Okay, feeling good, feeling good. I'm, I'm not too overawed at the minute. It's a bit like the Irina Crush game. We're feeling fairly good. It just got pipped at that um, last bit of the end game. I think the knight's jumping back here. Could attack the bishop, doubles the pawns, though she might be happy with that. Although the queen is eyeing up this pawn. So what's their technique? And also, why is this pawn being pushed? <clears throat> Let's ask the question, why is this pawn being pushed? Nothing's attacking it. So is the queen moving out of the way, then the blasting down, or? That looks just like a in-between move. Queen's probably coming here, starting to push. <sighs> think, 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 think. I think it keeps coming to this. I'm not actually attacking anything, though, when I'm coming here. And they can still do that, even though the pawn is available for the bishop. I still need to move the knight. And then he can push the pawn down again. Must she, sorry. Must be something else. Doubles the pawns. No attacks on the king, queen. Rook opposite. It's a bit too long. Push pawn. Hmm. Yeah, it's just not doing anything that. And plus, anyway, my bishop is kind of jammed in as well here, so we need to make some space for the bishop, I think, before they start ramping down with these. So I'm going to move the knight, even though it's going to get challenged, but we can move it somewhere. Yeah. Okay, small pawn moves, but you have to pay attention to them. At least we've got them not using their minor pieces or their major pieces. I think that's a big step. That's a big step. So there's a blockage in what they, what she thinks she can actually get out of this. So I think she's waiting for us to make a mistake. I think that's a good that's a good position to be in. Right, okay. So we know this potentially is coming. But we want to get our bishop really out of the way. So do we kind of reroute it all the way around to come here? Something like that. Or is is it holding such a nice position that it's kind of stopping this from doing this? Not really. 
Not really. Don't really like this pawn, but it's nothing around there, king. The king is feel ooh, a little touch here. Little touch here. Doesn't have to take. If taken, rook takes. Don't really like the rook being in the center of the board. That invites the bishop to attack the rook and gets a diagonal towards the king. Push takes rook bishop. That'll be a bit too arty, won't it? Rook in the centre of the board gets hit all over the place. Yeah, get trapped. Is that the mistake that she's waiting for? Like I say, we don't have to take, but you'd think that they probably would because we're having to come back with the rook. Bishop's got that nice diagonal. We have a white square bishop ourselves. So the knight and the rook in the bit similar. So, oh, well, no, the queen's protecting there as well. Uh, that I do. It's one of those where if you don't do it, then you damned if you do do it then you're damned i'm just i feel happy with it but with it just giving them access there we do have our own pieces that's the thing i'm happy about we have our own pieces that can still do some damage themselves maybe i'm overthinking the potential that she's got So I believe I'm going to continue with the move and take no bishop move whatsoever. <laughs> no bishop move whatsoever. Okay. So the bishop diagonal. Okay. Knight can move to put two on one on the pawn. Obviously, the bishop is going to be coming. We're going to go down. Oh, does he have like a magic? Oh, shh. No, 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 no. Hold on. Don't don't um, get twisted. So we can come back here. Or we can come back here. I think being a bit proactive, let's come here because their bishop doesn't have any protection on from the queen. And as we said, the bishop was always going to be attacking. So it's going to double our pawns in this situation. Unless, of course, we take. If we take and we're on the rook, I think she's still going to go, well, I'm going to take here. But we can take because we've got to check on his king. Yep. Something on her king. Ooh, is this going to hurt? Something feels like it's going to hurt. Oh my life, they're on the queen, so we can take the pawn, take the rook because it's got a check on the king. I did say something feels like it's going to hurt a move order thing of some sort. Oh, come on. So, take with the check on the king. The bishop takes. The queen is protecting the rook. 
I believe I am missing something totally here. And yeah, they've got this business going on, haven't they? So oh, it's going to get worse, isn't it? We we'll go there. Bishop comes here, attacking. Yeah, look at that. Smaller piece attacking the higher piece. So the bishop's gone. My gosh, I can't believe I'm doing this with Alexandra. Wow. Oh my gosh. I could resign now. I'm, I feel really happy about that, this game. We're actually plus one, you know, out of all of that. We're plus one. I could resign now. I could actually give up playing chess now just based on that. I know it's the bot, it's not the real person, but the bots don't play that weak. <laughs> um, and obviously I haven't won anything. I'm just plus one. Uh, I'm just happy with the way that it's gone so far. I, I really don't want to see the ending now because she's going to totally wipe me out. But hey, let's keep on plodding away. White square bishop is not really in the game, is it? So if I was thinking, I'd be going maybe rook coming here. He's got so she's got so many pieces targeting towards here. This is her style, you know. I said at the beginning. I mean, she just doesn't do quick and dirty tactics. It's like a slow development, and next minute their king's getting squished. So I under I understand her style. This is why I'm I'm kind of celebrating because I'm thinking, wow, we got this far. So target area. It's all defended. Look at all that defence. With the bishops, with the rook. There's no way in. So all I'm thinking is, do I just have to try and blind spot stuff? I can't do that because the rook will just come here. I don't have any checks on him whatsoever. White square bishop's not in the game. Could bring it here. What purpose is it serving? Sheesh. Could attack their rook. Oops, excuse me. Could attack their rook. Her rook. Their rook, yeah. Doesn't have to do anything. Could just attack the queen. So that's going to be the key point, isn't it? So do we just move the king off of the... Attacking. Getting a check. So this will be the second time I move the king again just to try and avoid some sort of attack or do we get the rook in the game get the rook in the game I do think she's probably going to attack the queen because she wants the queen to come off of the line so if we come here There's also the key thing I'm just noticing, I noticed this before, if we take, because if the rook does come and challenge the queen and the queen moves, and uh, then we take, then the queen's got this nice little check on the king here. It's nice that this area is blocked off, but maybe she'll try and get that opened again. Might take a few moves. So I've got to be mindful of that. So I don't think the queen is in the best position. If we came here like this, it's not threatening because we can't do anything because the bishops are there. But if the bishop is looking to take, then we can take. Then the queen's coming across, putting a check on. Then it only frees that space up, but the rook is protecting anyway. Knight can move, like we said, but could come here attacking the bishop. Everything's a bit loose, but again, the rook can always just come here. So I think we're just going to have to leave the knight there, it looks like. Stan bishop. Attack the rook. Attacks the queen. Queen comes here. I don't think there's much for me to do, really, is there? And with my pieces getting more congested as we go.
So if we brought the rook here, and then if the rook attacks, can we bring the knight here? We're not going to get away with any of that sort of stuff. Well, I'm going to bring the rook here. And see what she's doing. Yeah, straight away. Straight away. So we don't, we can block. But I don't think that's going to be the best thing. I think the bishop's probably going to attack. But I did mention putting a check on the king. But that check is going to be no good because the bishop still keeps that area. So we think we need to stay on this line because obviously the bishop is going to be coming. Maybe they can still come there. But you know what I'm seeing? Hold on. So we go there. Maybe the rook takes. The queen can still take and defend the area. Uh, what's the dart square? Oh, do you know what? The dart square bishop could sacrifice itself, couldn't it? No, because that's targeting this area. Okay, let's see what you've got, Alexandra. Oh, come on. What's with the fancy business? Why has she just given up her bishop? No, 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 no. I'm not taking it. I'm not taking it with the... No, as I mentioned, didn't I, at the beginning, where she does, like, sacrifices and all that malarkey. I'm sure I did. If I didn't, well, yeah, she's um, she's one of those players that can upset the really good players. Oh, no, what's going on? I don't like it. I'm tempted to just take the rook here with the check. But the bishop can just take... What is the... I mean, we take. Oh, we take, and then the queen takes the bishop. Phew. Right, because we're already plus one, aren't we? So she's just got the pawn back. Oh, okay, so it's just that. But then she's also won this pawn as well. So she's going absolutely crazy now. But the threat of this kind of disappears for a brief moment doesn't it she's on that pawn but we, we'd be able to take the rook with a check on but that's about it because the dark square bishop's just going to block all right so it's a classy way of losing for us i'm really chuffed that we've got this far anyway i'm so pleased and i'm not even going to apologize for the length of time it's taking because whilst i'm talking i am looking and thinking of what potentially I can do against Alexandra Kostinuk, one of my favourite chess players. I know it's a bot, but still, the strength is still there. So we're going to take, she's probably she's going to clean off a few pawns. Yeah, so she's got this pawn and she's got this pawn here. I'm just chuffed that I can be part of this um, fantastic game. Let's take with a check on the king. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy. Could put a check on the king again. He can, she can hide away. And then the pawns are disappearing. I don't know which one she's going to go for. Maybe one that's going to get her here. Maybe put a check on. Can we get their bishop? Her bishop? Nope. Squeeze in here. Get a bishop that way. Mm. But not yet. Yes, I know she sees all of this. Check. Hides away. And then that's it. Bishop's covered off all the dark squares. No more checks whatsoever. So maybe we don't go for the check. Do we go for attacking the queen? If we attack the queen, this is what's going to happen, isn't it? Boom. Check here. We have to come back to defend with the queen. Or she goes this way. Boom. Check. 
but we come back with the queen, but this time she gets a pawn off the board. Although we, yeah, okay. Uh, if the king stays there, then we'd be able to keep putting the check on. This is not going to board well for us, but like I said, I'm celebrating. Let's attack the queen. What you got, Alexandra? Oh, oh, capture. Oh, this is proper endgame. This is like how we ended up with Arena Crush. Do you know, we're not half bad, you know, at this chess thing. We've taken these, these are really strong bots. They're 2,500s. Obviously, we're not going to win. Look at the state on the pawns here. But still, we, we did not too bad. Knight. Knight. I don't think that's going to be good enough. Let's just bring the knight across. So as you can see, I'm in like, um, I'm in blase mode now because I'm chuffed. I am chuffed to bits. Wow, look at the end game. Okay, the knight can't protect this pawn now. I'd have to give up the knight. I can't get it anymore, can I? No. Move the king, pushes down. And yeah, I'm going to have to take. Let the bishop have to work now. Let's move the king. Let's move the king. Let's get the king across. And at this point, I should really resign.